Last night, the Yap Gang had a marathon discussion on the Genesis 49ers channel, and uh, as always, lots of interesting points were brought out. However, sometimes in these very long shows, intriguing segments, especially shorter discussion points, can get buried. And, you know, sometimes it's helpful to bring out some of the interesting points and, and share them, you know, on their own. And so case in point, they had a very brief portion where they discussed the usefulness of trying to employ a cranial index to determine other aspects of a person's morphology or how a person might fit within different quote unquote racial categories. And I thought others might find that segment interesting, especially as it relates to the arguments that others are making out there. So I wanted to share it here at the very least as food for thought, as a conversation starter, and as perhaps a springboard to further exploration of this topic. So I'll share a link to the full show in the in the video description. This clip uh, picks up a little less than seven and a half hours into their show, and it's going to run here for a little less than four and a half minutes. Uh, as always, I look forward to the comments of others. Enjoy the clip, and God bless. Do only black people have dolicocephalic uh, skulls? No, 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 they don't. No. Australian Aborigines have like they call it extreme dolicocephalic. No, but there's European groups that have uh, dolicocephalic. Exactly. Uh, I forgot who it was, but somebody in the chat said that earlier. I was like, what the what kind of racist crap? No, but that, that that no, okay, okay. That, that's that, that's from that, so the dolicocephalic argument comes from like the Benai Israel camp, right? Like they they lean on that one heavy. They but they but, but they represent they, they, what they represent is that dolicocephalic only is Negro, like it's the it's specific to oh, Negro. Okay. See, I've never heard that part. Shoot. Because I'm going to show them a Nordic person with dolicocephalic right. traits. Right. You see my you see my screen? Not yet. All right, so Nordic people can also be dolicocephalic. Can you see my screen now? Yeah. So let's go to Proto-Nords. Uh, it says right here, it gives the description, ancient East Nordic type, yada, 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 who cares? Uh, dolicocephalic. Facts. Right there. Dolicocephalic. It, all a dolicocephalic is is just a long skull. So Nordic people can be dolicocephalic. White lie. Quit, quit, quit telling them white lies, boy. <laughs> they a <laughs> motherfucking lie. lie. <laughs> proto proto iranids can be also dolicocephalic. Just type in that iranid right there. So uh proto iranid. Oh, excuse me. Might be their mesophilic iranids type. Yeah, here it is. The iranid peoples. They're also dolicocephalic, as y'all can see. Let me zoom in. Dolicocephalic because all it is is a long skull. So let's actually just look up uh what dolicocephalic is. And it'll show a map as well. So this is dolicocephalic. <clears throat> By the way, even Cro-Magnons and Neanderthals were kind of dolicocephalic. But um, this is a map of dolicocephalic phenotypes, or excuse me, not phenotypes, skull structure. And uh, it's seen in Africa, but it's also seen in the Middle East. It's seen in India, seen in Australia, uh, some certain parts of the Americas, in Europe even. So although a lot of African groups do have it, it's obviously still Middle Eastern, Indian, and European, and um, Australian and such. But uh, going back to the Iranian, the um, Nords, Nordic phenotype. Let me go back. It can also be dolicocephalic. So blue-eyed, blonde-haired people can literally be dolicocephalic. It's not just Negro. So it also applies to the Eskimos. It applies to the Kabyle Berbers of Algeria. It applies to the Guanchos of the Guanch Islands. It applies to a lot of people. Fam. Yeah, I think even uh, Anglo-Saxons. Let me push this one. They're, they're either dolicocephalic or mesophilic. All right, yeah, they're mesophilic. Yeah. But um, a lot of Mediterraneans are also dolicocephalic. Let me push that. Mm -hmm. um, Mediterraneans like the Euro Africans. Dolicocephalic, and that's like you said, North Africa and um, basically Mediterranean. Um, 
your your Africans. And then you also have, let's see, I think trans Mediterraneans. I think they're also Dolly Uh Well, they're uh, Dolly Kosofalo uh, Mesiophalic. I might have mispronounced it, but you know. Um, Graceful. I think Graceful Mediterraneans are also Dolly Kosofalic. Oh, no, they're Mesiophalic. I know, I think Egyptians are. Yeah, Egyptians, Egyptid, Dolicosophalic. Um, Yemen, let's look at Yemen. Yeah, they're round-headed. Uh, I think Arabs are also Dolicosophalic. Oh, okay, they're Dolio and Mesiophalic. So they have both those skull structures. Libyan, Dolicosophalic, yeah. Use a motherfucking lie. <laughs> I, 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 